Hey guys, I'm Kelly. This is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. So today I have had to switch to a Jovi because my insurance doesn't cover Amovig anymore. And before when I did a Jovi, it was a pre-fill syringe, which I prefer. I asked my doctor for, I don't know if they're available anymore. Unfortunately, I was given an auto injector. This is a different auto injector from the Amovig. So I figured I would show you guys my experience with it. So when I open the box, it's got the typical instructions for use and it's got the pharmacist like a more detailed. Then when I open it up, it's got the auto injector. Now I took this out of the fridge this morning. It says to take it out of the fridge for 30 minutes. Uh -uh. I would take it out for the full day because the colder the medication is, the more it hurts when it, you get it injected, if it hurts at all. So I take it out for the full day. It can actually be out for, I believe, seven days before it goes bad. Uh, but I took it out for today. So this is what it looks like. And it's kind of a more, it's like a square circle. <laughs> and that's what this side looks like. single dose. Okay, so I just read the Ajovi instructions front and back. I'm really glad I did because even though I've done a pre-filled auto injector with the Amovig, it is different. There are a few different things. One of them is that this doesn't have a button on the end. So with Amovig and I believe in Gality, there's a button that you would depress here. Uh, first I would push it into my skin and then depress this. But with this one, all I'm gonna do is depress it into my leg and then it clicks. It's just pressing it and then I don't have to press a button though. I'm probably going to do this automatically because it feels normal. So it kind of has the same pre-instructions as far as making sure the expiration date is correct, making sure that everything is clear now, when I give myself the injection, uh, this gray little stopper here is going to come down and this is the medication that's gonna be going in my body. And it's gonna come down and then there's going to be a blue plastic that comes down and shows me that it has pushed all the medication out. But this is where it's different that the Ajovi is different from the Amovig as well is that there's one click. So when I depress this into my skin, there's gonna be one click and then it's going to click again and then I have to count for 10 seconds. Whereas with the Amovig, the instructions, the last time I used it, if you're using Amovig, always make sure you read your instructions because it could change. Uh, but basically the last time I would push it, it would click and then I would wait for the second click and then I would lift up at the second click. And this kind of like a muscle reaction for me now. So I'm gonna have to fight against that. It's very interesting how it looks here at the bottom. Let's do the thing. So I have, like always, I have an alcohol prep pad and a cotton swab. I just use this at the end in case there's any medication left over that didn't get into my body or to uh, dab up any blood. I can put this on pretty much the same places on my body that I could put Amovig, which would be the back of my arm, my abdomen, or my leg. And I use my leg because the arm you need somebody to help you with. And my abdomen, I just have too much belly fat to depress it in there in a way that feels comfortable for me. Uh, so I use the top of my thigh, which is one of the places that they indicate right there. So I have my sharps container with the top off ready to, after I'm done with this, put it in here. They say to pull this cap off straight, so. <laughs> Man, it's hard. So here is what it looks like. The cap is, it looks like it's basically a needle cap. And then the needle is pretty far up into the white space. So you can see the needle there. See it? It's a lot easier to see than the aim of it because it's white. I'm going to clean my leg.
I let it air dry. I'm not going to wave it because waving the air around it could wave dust and debris and things onto my site there, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to wait for it to air dry. I'm nervous because I don't know what this feels like. It's been a long time since I've done a needle for the first time, like a new needle. I did Amavig for the first time back in June of 2018, and I did a Jovi for the first time in, I think it was February of 2019. So that's the last time I've done a needle, that I've given myself a needle injection. That's new to me. All right, we are dry. <sighs> okay, so 90 degrees. You hear the first click. We need to press the whole thing. Another thing that is different is with Amavig, you either have to pinch up the skin or you spread out the skin. So it makes you do something like this or pinch it up. Where this, it basically is just putting it down, which seems similar to an EpiPen. You just put it, put it flat into you. All right, man, I'm so nervous. All right, here we go. Holy crap, why is this so hard? I think it's because I can't, I'm not pressing a button. I feel like I'm pushing it into my, do you know what I mean? My friend's cheering me on. Oh look, I can see where I just had it. Maybe if I hold my leg, that'll. <sighs> just blew the thing away. Okay, do it before I think about it, about it. I feel the needle. I feel the needle. This is taking longer. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it was a piece of cake. Then I felt the needle. Thank you. <laughs> I felt the needle. I was, I think what I was worried about was when I depressed it into my body like this that I was pushed, like I knew I wasn't, but I was, it was, had this like feeling that I was pushing into my leg. And that's why I was feeling anxious about it. But what happened was I pushed this blue part into my leg and that's what triggered the auto injector to then depress the needle. So actually putting the blue part onto my thigh had nothing to do with the needle. It just triggered the needle to then come. And then I could feel the needle in my leg. The medication didn't hurt at all. I can say majority of the time, Amavig medication stings like crazy. And I'm always gripping my leg because it hurts so much afterward, but uh, this doesn't hurt. And there's just a little bit of medication. Let me show you right here. So you can see right here, there's just a little bead of medication. So no blood. I'm gonna dab it like that and we're good. And I don't need a Band-Aid at all because it's not bleeding. So I did it. I'm good for a month. Yay. I'm gonna talk to my doctor and see if they still have the pre-fill syringe. I prefer to actually depress the medication into my body myself. I don't like this whole like the needle's gonna like all of a sudden come down on me really fast. I don't like the, I like to be in control <laughs> and it feels like I'm not in control. I mean I am because I'm pushing it into my body but yeah yeah anyway I did it. Yay! Done for another month. So if you have any questions let me know. I'm Kelly. Remember you are not alone. Go find your incredible anyway. I'll see you in my next video. Woo! <laughs> and there's, so Shanna and Jack and Benny <laughs> and Dash and Leiloni. I had a lot of people watching me today. Bye guys. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world you are not alone